Hobby Travelers, welcome to Kauai. So we've just driven from our hotel on the east side of the island to Port Allen, which is where we're gonna catch our catamaran with Captain Andy's to do a sunset dinner sale at the Nepali coast. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> tour is extremely popular for tourists so I recommend you take a little more time to get here than you think you need. We had some traffic and also parking was a little difficult so just keep that in mind if you're gonna do this tour. So full disclosure guys we did pay full price for this tour. <laughs> Excursions on Kauai are not cheap. You can definitely get some deals on food and accommodation but when it comes to tours they are definitely at a premium. We heard the Nepali coast was awesome to see from the water so we decided to splurge. The price of our tour after taxes and fees ended up being about $250 per person so it is a little steep but you do get dinner included plus some alcoholic drinks and it's like four hours on the water so that sounds pretty good to me they told us to be here 45 minutes before departure and they are promptly boarding at 30 minutes before departure and that's us let's go shoes no shirt no problem except I have a dress so I don't know if that counts no shoes on the catamaran which is pretty standard for being on a catamaran it's the Hawaiian lifestyle <laughs> that's what the guy said I didn't say that Aloha. Uh, folks I'm gonna be your captain my name is Brian a uh, US inspector Coast Guard vessels so they want you to know about our safety equipment we're gonna tell you some stories about the island uh, of course, the Nepali Coast star of the show. If we see some wildlife, we'll spend some time with them. We just had our boat safety briefing. It reminded me a little bit like being a flight attendant. <laughs> Make sure to listen to your crew, folks. And now we're on our way. I know, I know. <laughs> Kevin's making friends, of course. I'm trying to maintain my balance. Nepali Coast Island. Do a weather check. Uh, looks good. <laughs> So a few of you might be wondering if there's any toilets or other facilities on board. Good news, there's two toilets in the back galley area. You have to walk down backwards three steps. It's a very basic marine toilet or a head. Uh, no frills, but it'll work. So Kauai is one of the wettest places on earth. The highest peak on Kauai gets 450 inches of rain per year. Put that into perspective, Seattle, which is really known for its rain, only gets 40 inches of rain per year. So that's an insane amount of rain. And unfortunately, it looks like we're about to hit some on our way up to the Nepali coast. official start of the Nepali coast. However, these cliffs are only about 1,400 feet high and they get up to 4,800 feet high. So we have quite a ways to go until we get to the, the really impressive stuff. Take one. All right, yeah. They're coming around with the boat signature, al alcohol, signature alcohol. 
They're coming around with the boat's signature cocktail, which is the Sleeky Tiki. I don't know what's in it. Yeah, there's booze in there. <laughs> so if you don't want to have the signature cocktail, they also have beers and wines and a bunch of different soft drinks. I decided to go for a longboard beer. Of course. And uh, I think our dinner is just about to come around. They bring it to you, which is nice. All right, they just served dinner. You don't get a choice or anything, which is fine. Uh, there's salad, bread, rice, a corn cob, and a selection of a couple different meats. I think it's chicken and beef. I'm not really sure, but it looks delicious, so I don't really care. They brought us cheesecake. Lime cheesecake, right up my alley. Got a little cheesecake. just made it back to our car. All in all, that tour was about four hours and 15 minutes, which is a pretty long tour. Yeah, it was really fun though. We had a really great time. Hello there, happy travelers. When I was editing this video, I felt like we really didn't do a good job at giving a solid review of this tour and saying if it was actually worth spending $500 for two people to take this tour. The Nepali coast was amazing to see from the ocean. The whole crew was amazing. The food was pretty good too, but was it really worth the $500 price tag? I'm not so sure. Kelly and I felt like it was just a little steep. If it had been $150 per person, 100% worth it all the way, but $250 per person seemed like a little much. Now that being said, if we had skipped this tour, we probably would have been disappointed. So it really comes down to what you wanna get out of your vacation and how much you budget for it. Still a great tour, I can still recommend it. Worth 500 bucks, not 100% sure on that. All right, now let's get back to Hawaii. If you are interested in this tour, we will put a link to the tour in the description so you can check out the exact one that we went on. But that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button though because tomorrow we're gonna be seeing the Nepali coast from the air, so you don't wanna miss that. But until then. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. Safety briefing from Captain Brian and Ryan. Huh? Did you say Ryan? Brian. No. Wrong. Tell me what. Tell me what. I decided to go for. All right, I see the. Uh... The Andres have made their way out to the bow and uh, now starting to get to the cabin. Listen to your captain, people.